So we've had this Cody Thorpe, an old bedwetter, a bedwetter of old. Okay. He's called in. Now, you know we do impressions on this show occasionally. Mm-hmm. He's provided a couple of impressions. Oh. Now, I want you, I just want you to listen. Okay. And then we're going to discuss this afterwards. Dissect it. Let's dissect it. This is the first bit. Uh, I'm in the truck at the moment, so apologies if the audio's a bit fucked, but um, I'll give my best shaggy impression a go, see if you like it. <laughs> um, so here it goes. Life is one big party when you're still young, but who's going to have your back when it's all done? It's all good when you're little, you have pure fun, can't be a fool, son, what about the long run? Looking back, shorty, always a man, son. <laughs> Sending her, giving her much attention. She was there through my incarceration. Wanna show the nation my appreciation. Hope you guys like that. Fuck, you know. Love yous. Love you too. Now, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Thought that was a good Shaggy impression. Pretty good. Now, when Shaggy was brought up, I assumed he meant Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Yeah. So, that's a good Shaggy impression. So, I'll come back saying, Bruss, I thought it was fucking... um. Thought you were going to do Shaggy. I said, that's grouse. Scooby Dooby Doo. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's good. I thought he was going to do Shaggy, right? And he goes, well, fuck. I'll, I'll give, I'll give um, Shaggy a whirl, right? This is what he's come up with. Hold on. Mate, here's me uh, Shaggy impression for ya. <coughs> well, like, zoing school. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, Raggy. Fuck me. Oh, yeah. And he's never done that before. <laughs> he was like, I'll give it. He's like, I'm spending his time in the truck. I'll just fucking figure. I that heard. sounded like full blown Shaggy and Scooby. Can we just give it one more go? Yes, please. Mate, here's me uh, Shaggy impression for ya. <coughs> well, like, going school. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Rogue <Rocky>, Raggy. <laughs> Cody, I just got a shout out to you, bro. That's pretty good. That's your shaggy impression is better than your shaggy impression. Can you do the first shaggy, the singer? Um You try first. I like to go off what you I like to see here you and you try. It wasn't me. She got me on the counter. It wasn't me. It banging on the sofa. It wasn't me. Javen did it in the shower. It wasn't me. Doesn't he not even sing that bit? <laughs> yeah, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Uh. Who's going to have it back when it's all done? Better for the best ever for the nation. I want to show the nation my appreciation. You sound like Stitch. Like Do Stitch. I? It also reminds me of Snape. You know, um, Professor Snape talks like that. Oh, that's good. But Shaggy's a bit of Snape. Severus Snape. No, a bit more. That's very... Nasal. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> You're no, it's going well, well. Hang on. Harry Potter in the corridors <laughs> when he's meant to be a slave. Your every, so many of your impersonations are just Voldemort. <laughs> like a lot of them, mate. But my Voldemort's very good. It's a powerful Voldemort, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, I just wanted to start with that because it impressed me so much. No, I liked it. It was really fucking good. It was a good way to bring bring in the pot. Not no, at the I'm face, I'm not Lou. putting the gun at the face. It's not even cocked. F- How the fuck do you know? Because <laughs> I'm a gun connoisseur. No, I'm just an ice cream connoisseur. Because I like the brand connoisseur. Connoisseur? Love- oh. Isn't it connoisseur? Connoisseur. Sounds like you're saying sewer. So lovely. Carpe diem. No, it's not the right. Wheezy was it? Cozy, cozy, you know. Sand, sandal people. Chair and book. Finan- financial gain and profit. Just, you know. You know what I mean? Pool and chair. Yeah. Fucking lick a dick. Suck well, it. Well, uh, good. <laughs> 
No, we'll save that for the OnlyFans. Oh. Um, shout out, Cody, bro. That was deadly as. Really enjoyed it. Do your best shaggy. The, the actual one. The, the Scooby-Doo shaggy. Uh, give me a quote. Like Jeepers Scoob. Jeepers Scoob? <laughs> Jeepers Scoob, that scooby doo It's not good. Will you do yours? Like, like Jeepers Scoob. Well, Jeepers Scoob. <laughs> This is so fucked. What is this? Oh, my days. Hey, would would you ever get a um, personalised number plate? Nah. You wouldn't? Nah. Not that personalised. How come? You just want people, don't want people to know it's you driving around? Nah, I just, um, I, 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 I don't know. What would you get? Just whatever they give me. Nah, but if you could get a personalised one, what would you get? J-E-A. J-E-A. My initials. Oh. I was like, who's Gia? <laughs> Gia. J E A. You know, what would you get? Bad, L- bad bitch. Bad bitch 69. Oh, nice. No. <laughs> Probably just Lulu. What would you pick for me? Beware. And then a sticker saying, of the driver of this vehicle, because oh. she will likely run you off across the road or off the road. Yeah, I just get cunt for you. Feels very fitting. <laughs> yeah. It does. I don't feel like Gianni's worthy of a um like I love him to death, but I don't feel like he's worthy of a personalized number play. Well, you know, yeah, well, we can take those off now. Um I feel I like d- it's more for like a fancy car. Like Gianni's a great guy, but he's not you know, like he's he's a bit basic for a personalized number play. You got a little Ford Fiesta running around with a Lulu on it. That's more normal to me than having a real fancy car and putting a personalised plate on it. This is really fancy Merc Round Double Bay that says Daisy. Yeah, right. But a man's driving it. You think maybe it's his wife? Don't assume that, Lou. Sorry. Could be his name. Yeah, correct. Sorry. You know what I mean? And the number plate's pink. I like it. True. <laughs> yeah, I probably like just, it, yeah, look. There, 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 there's some cars, get, like there's the number two. Go, so they the get traps. more expensive, right, with the less numbers. Yeah, because it was like that's the letters? second registration in New South Wales ever. What? Number one is the first one to ever be registered. Number two is the second. And so people pay millions and millions for those. Yeah, well, because they're the first registered number. Like that's you've got that, you've got two. So why that's like CXP forty four. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because so many people have cars now, vehicles now that fucking you need to mix them up. I wonder who comes up with the number plate numbers and. It, It'd like, be automated. Oh. It's not some bird named Jenny sitting in a fucking room going, and we'll do CX645. Have we done that before, Tanya? <laughs> um, don't think so, Jen. All right, dude, well, I'll do that one then. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> They've got like a fucking manual, like, big book going through. Just, yeah. uh, oh, yep, that's number 1044. Try again. Yeah, correct. No, I don't think that happens, no. Well, that reminds me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when he, the dad gets replaced putting the um, – Toothpaste lids on top of the toothpaste by a machine. Because it would have been Jenny's dog back in the day. Yeah, when there were like 40 cars going about. Probably. <laughs> well, he used to go and screw on the toothpaste lids. Yeah, you know that's a, mach- a fictional movie, don't you? And then a machine came along and we yeah, and did it for you him. You understand that didn't really happen. Did you get a golden ticket? Augustus Gloop, Augustus oh, Gloop, God. the great big dinner, nincompoop. Like. <laughs> the word nincompoop. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I'm with you, mate. I want to fuck off as well. That drink bottle just tried to escape Imagine you. Imagine just calling someone a nincompoop. Well, this is my theory. I've got a theory. Hang on, let me get my drink bottle. I've got a theory off the back of that, Lou. You big old nincompoop, Judge. See, that would hurt me more than if you called me a cunt. So, like, so no, maybe not oh, okay. poop, Not a poop. Okay, you big poop. But <laughs> Don't, Lou, I'm not a poop. <laughs> All right, okay, let me get through the theory. <laughs> so, if someone, if <sighs> I was walking past someone and I overheard them bitching about me behind my back, and they're like, that fucking judge, he's a cunt. I'd be like, oh, whatever. They call me a cunt. They think I'm a cunt. It is what it is. If they were like 
fuck that judge. He's a dork, eh? I'd, my feelings would be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like if they were like, oh, he's a fuckhead. I'd be like, yeah, I can be a fuckhead. But if they were like, oh, mate, he's, he's a proper lemon. Or yeah. like he's a wet towel, that guy. Yeah. Like, oh, or he means well. <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah. If someone says that you mean well, you're in trouble. Yeah. They go, oh, they're all good. They just, they, they mean well. No, they mean really well. Like they're not the life of the party, but they mean really well. Glad we named our podcast after yeah. that. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Mm. Is this another theory you might agree with? If you heard someone call you like a fuckhead compared to calling you like a proper word that like describes you. Yeah, a lemon, a loser. Like, oh, mate, she's a fucking dork. Like a dork. A dork would go straight through my heart. <laughs> If someone legitimately call me a dork, yeah, them's fighting words. He's a bit dorky. Yeah, he's a bit quirky and odd. Yeah, I can handle quirky and odd. Dorky, not great. Is it because you were actually a dork when you were younger? That no, I just think home? I think if someone calls you like a dork, they mean it. If someone just says you're a cunt, they might just be in a bad mood with you. Or they might just think you're a fuckhead. You know what I mean? They might just not like you. I don't care. I'm not upset if someone doesn't like me. You're upset if you're a dork. But if they're like, they truly thought I was a dork, I'd be like, oh, fucking hell. Because it means they still like you. They're just like, oh, he's all good. He's just a bit dorky. Yeah, that's not good, is it? It's not good at all. It's not ideal. What, um, you know when you write a CV? I was a bit of a dork, actually. You were a rodent dork. Yeah. You know when you write a CV and it's like, Almost like describing words about yourself or like good attributes. Yeah. What would you write? Well. You know, it's like exceptional people skills. Oh, yeah, I'd say that sort of shit. But it's all bullshit resumes, you know what I mean? It's just like it's this contrived. They should one. change them to be videos. Gets your real personality across. Wouldn't be good for you. You'd, you'd need a paper resume. I would need a video. No. Nah. I would do very well in a video. No, you'd terrify people. They'd be scared. Oh, I'm really good in interviews. Not Jack. <laughs> I am. One time I went for uh, one time I went for like a really high up role that I was not qualified for, and I was in the top two just because I was. Did you get really it? Really good at interviews. No, but so I was, you didn't get it. But they said I was exceptional in the interview. Of course they did. The and only then reason didn't give I, you the job. Because I was underqualified by yeah. a million, million no, yeah, percent. No, yeah, you're really good. No, really good, darling. No, you've done really well. You're not getting the job? But out that of- well done, champion. Hey, here's a little, there's a little no, five. I think that is still a high five to me. What was the job? Like some, like something at like a bank. Can you imagine me at a bank? No. Neither can I. What were you doing? I found out a place in the big fancy building. Yeah, but, 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 but what was the job? Like some like marketing manager or something. Yeah, right. Um, Back in New Zealand. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Don't offend all of our New Zealand listeners. Wrecked New Zealand. Oh. Um, yeah, so you're really good at interviews. Yeah, I can see how you'd be good in interviews. You'd be personable. Bit dorky. Yeah, a bit of a goober. Bit quirky. Goober. Goober wouldn't be good. But you, like... I've I've um I've I've done my fair share of interviews and I reckon I'm not too bad. Just because you've got to be relatively personable. You'd be good. You just gotta fucking spin a few yarns. You just gotta talk shit. Yeah. Absolute shit about yourself. Which is what we do. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh what's a what's a bad quality of yours? Oh, you know what? I'm a bit too much of a perfectionist. <laughs> you know, like I, I just can't leave something undone. I just got it. Finish it to perfection. <laughs> What's a bad quality of yours? Um, look, I am. I do finish. Um, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I also have a long history of um, hate crimes. <laughs> I actually made a TikTok. too honest. Too honest. I made a TikTok, and it's like and, um, something about something like that. I can't remember. But similar. Well, good work, mate. You've you've crushed that. Well explained. <laughs> Similar, it was like what um, something about CVs. Oh yeah, interview. you've done it again. No, hang on, I'll get it up. No, I'll read you the exact thing then. Why? What we're gonna sit here and watch your fucking? TikToks. Oh, I'm just gonna read you exactly what it was so that we're both on the same page. Could you care a lot? It was. You got, you bet. When they ask there. your weaknesses in a job interview. Oh okay. Yeah, and I it was jokes. It was funny. It was giggles. 
giggly yarns. Please, it was like, please elaborate. Oh, sometimes I'll text someone, you know, you up at 2 a.m. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. It's a weakness. It was funny. Yeah, it's got like lots it. of views. Do, do more. And like, what no, else? go watch it. Head to Louisa Delton at <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> Jarchi, we've got a fun Saturday ahead of us. Yes, Lulu. We're going to the netball, thanks to KO. Oh, yeah. Goal attack. It's going to be good. Goal defence. It's going to be good. Wing. Centre. I used to play netball when I was younger. What position did you play? Can't remember. Was not very good, though. Were you not? Surprisingly. That's a fucking weird thing for you to um, admit, bud. That's big from you. True. Usually I'm very good at everything. You're very good. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't bad. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you were. But I wasn't. It wasn't great. You wouldn't have been goal attack. It stinks of some sort of defence. No, I'm not going to be like the the netballers we're going to be watching on Saturday. Yeah. We're going to be courtside. Courtside. Going to film some content. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a fun content idea we're filming, which you guys will see next week. Um, Correct. It's very funny. Yep. It's something, a little challenge between Jarchi and I. Yep. KO's excited. We're excited. And the Swifts are excited. Oh, they're excited, mate. And just as a heads up to all your bedwetters, you can watch two uh, marquee super netball matches live and free e- free every week on KO. Um, it's on KO freebies. So it's super easy to register and you don't even need a credit card. You can just go and watch them. You can watch them. Watch the Swifties be swift. Perfect. So we're, we're, we're stinging for this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And updates to come. Woo-hoo. Thank you, KO. Characters for Lulu. I like this. I like it too. I get a good giggle out of it. I've written a few down. Okay. And I like what I've done. Good. I like you coming pre-prepared because I imagine you at home, maybe like a box of crimpy chicken shapes, licking them away. You, really like getting deep into thought of what are the good characters. And like giggling to myself as I'm dropping crumbs everywhere. Yeah. And like I can see, I can. I want to know can what you do for this one. this. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into these characters. Let's see what Lou, because as we all know, Lou is an aspiring actress or actor, whatever yeah. the fuck you call him. Um, so we like to test her out on this podcast. Give, I give her, I pretty much come with a few characters I've come up with prepared, and then Lou has to do her iteration or her version of said character. You ready, sister? I'm ready. I'm always ready. I'm always on. Okay. Jazz hands. Hollywood doesn't sleep. Are you hydrated? Mm -hmm. Hollywood doesn't sleep. Hollywood doesn't. Well, you are more Bollywood, but we'll get you to Hollywood. Righto. You're an ace fighter pilot that's just watched your wingman get shot down in front of you. Mayday, mayday. Plane down. Plane down. It is Sergeant Lieutenant John, and he is down. That is my... He's like my brother. He's like my brother and we've lost him. No. <laughs> Sergeant Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> my basic name as well, John. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Lieutenant John. <laughs> oh, okay. Not bad. Thank you. Feel like you got into it a little bit more as you, yeah. you know. I'm getting I'm warming up to the character. Okay. You're a rural Australian gold miner that's just found a huge nugget of gold. Hmm. Crikey. I don't want to tell anyone about this big piece of gold because I can take this home and never have to mine again. I take this straight under me under me flannel shirt, head home, and you know what that means? Money for days. Money for days for me, the the family, Bruce from round the corner, schooners for the boys at the pub. This is bloody better than Lotto. <laughs> yeah, I like that yeah, one. Yeah, a bit creative. Yeah, that was good. This is bloody better than Lotto. Wow. That was quite a good accent from me. Yeah, it wasn't bad from you. I really got into character there. I felt it. I felt like his name was like Brendan. You thought his name was Brendan? Yeah. Would be Brendo. All right. You're a, you're, a, you're a man from Germany that's just received a shocking haircut and is very unhappy about it. Mr. 
Mr. Barber, you've taken off too much hair. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Well, you said he had a yeah, German. He was a German, wasn't he? Yeah. That was okay. That was your German. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Barber, you've taken off too it's much just hair. Just your voice, <laughs> Mr. Barber, you've taken off too much hair. Scottish. <laughs> Mr. Barber, you've taken off too much hair. Yeah. Mr. Barber. The haircut. The haircut is terrible. Oh, French. Okay. <laughs> okay, not your best. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Papa, you've taken off too much hair. I feel like you were closer to this. You're a Swedish backpacker that's just been picked up by a suspicious individual while hitchhiking. No, I am fine to sit in the back seat. <laughs> you can have the front seat spare. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a ripper. <sighs> Holy dooly. Okay. I feel like you've gone method on this one. You're an influencer from New Zealand who pretends to work really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> Fucking wrecked. Oh, you do that one. No, I promise I do work hard. I just, it's, oh, you don't get it. You don't get it. I wake up early because I did breakfast radio. You don't get it. No, I do. Oh, I do two walks a day and I think about business. I think about business when I do my walks and you just don't get it how hard I work. Sorry, Tor's calling me. I've got to go have oysters at the pub at 11 a.m. Look at my business that Tor's calling. That's uh, amazing. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh. You just don't get it. That was good. Thanks, buddy. That's very good. That's all I've got for you today. Bedwetters you did for really. Life. Bedwetters for life, buddy. What was your favourite one? I really liked. Um, I really liked the Swedish backpacker. Mm. No, I'm fine to sit in the back. <laughs> I feel like my favourite, the one character I got into the most, was the Australian with the gold. That was pretty good. I like also, that. I didn't mind the Sergeant Lieutenant. Oh yeah, Sergeant Lieutenant John. Sergeant Lieutenant John. <laughs> I just missed the last name. R.I.P. Sergeant Lieutenant John. He was. He lived. Your friend went down. Remember you were calling in? You were, <coughs> Sergeant Lieutenant John, I've just watched my friend go down. Yes. Okay. You're correct. Correct. <laughs> You're correct. Good stuff, buddy. Mm. We'll have more of those next week. Yes, please. I um, remembered this story, which I think you'll find quite funny. So I had, this was like six months ago, a guy messaged me on Hinge and he was like, hey, I think I remember you, <coughs> um... You're the girl who was running around the apartment block in her pyjamas one morning. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I helped you locate your keys. And then I was like, oh, and it took me back to this moment. So like a year ago, my ex-boyfriend had gone out later than me. So I left my keys downstairs for him <clears throat> and he got home at like 6am or something. Couldn't mm. find the keys. So he woke me up and was like, where are the keys? Like, they're not there, righty ra. I couldn't, l like, it was one of those things that if I closed the door, the house automatically locked. So yep. the keys let him into the building, but they also let me into my house. Yep. So he got inside the apartment block, but he co we couldn't leave my house until we found the keys. And I was like, oh my God, like, you're a fucking idiot, righty ra. So anyway, I left my, like, door open. Before he'd arrived home, Yeah. <laughs> I went to try and find the keys. So I'm, like, still drunk wandering around my apartment block in little lamb pyjamas. Fuck me. And I've gone, like, knocking on people's doors, being like, has anyone seen my keys? What? Has anyone seen my keys? Because they were downstairs, like, hidden in a bush. So I was like, surely someone's just picked them up and thought someone's dropped them. So you had to go door them. knocking so and wake people up. Basically. I left Mate. it till about 8 or 9 a.m. at this okay. point. Um, and then I'm in my – I don't know why – like, you know when you're still kind of drunk and you – 
like you don't think. Yeah. So I didn't think to get changed. I like go around and then I end up at the top floor and I like ask, knock on this door and this old man, he'd be like 85 and his wife open mm. and then they <laughs> offer me a cup of tea. So I'm in my little lamb pyjamas no. sitting at like 9am having a cup of tea with them. They're helping me write notes <laughs> to stick around the oh apartment block, God. being like, I've lost my keys like, and my phone number, and I'm like sticking them around the apartment. And then I'm like in the lift like to go up and down floors to like stick them around. And this guy like hops in, and I'm obviously in my little lamby pyjamas. <laughs> and he was like, you are good? Like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I've left my keys outside. Like, my boyfriend um, like couldn't find them, righty ra, whatever. Find the keys eventually. Where were they? Hop out, mate. Some guy had picked them up. So oh. thank God that I had the bloody cup of tea and they picked me up. But the guy who would message me on Hinge like six months later was the one who I'd been with in the lift. And he like sent me a voice memo and everything. No. And was like, um, oh, you're obviously like the endearing girl who was in like her pyjamas, like trying to find her car keys. I was like, yee. Was it? Would you call that endearing? No. No. <laughs> I'm mean, like, I, would, full, I tell you what's like, endearing. The like, old couple that helped you. That's yeah. an endearing scenario. I went and sat in their lounge, Jack. Some drunk chicken, fucking lamb pajamas with frizzy hair with a bunch of notes in her hand, looking like a mad, mad Literally. woman. Literally. I could have been insane. Was he. I sat down, had a cup of tea and a biscuit with an 85 year old couple who helped me write notes. It's very sweet. To stick around the apartment block. Very sweet. Of they them. were adorable. But who, who, this guy, Rooster, or? He did send me like three voice notes. Okay. I never replied. Never replied once. Like I, I replied being like, oh my God, like I vividly remember, well, I don't vividly remember this morning because I was still drunk. Yeah. But I was like, I remember like meeting you in the lobby. And then ghosted. Yeah, he was like, I'd really like to take you out. And I'm like. Fair income. Why? You saw me at my like lowest. Why? Yeah. Must have very, very low standards. <laughs> but yeah. What are the odds? That could be an ad for spec savers. For that bloke? <laughs> you serious, mate? You want to take this fucking thing out? Excuse me. Well, don't I've shoot. I've got a gun today. But hold on. A bug assault, not an But hold on. Gun. So who was the bloke that got the keys? Just some random and guy who'd lived in the apartment block. So he picked them up thinking I was drunk and dropped them. Oh, uh, okay. But what I'd actually done is... Is hid them very poorly. I literally left them at the front door. Of the glass sliding block. So oh, like anyone could have snuck into the apartment block. Okay. And when I say seven, like I literally dropped those there at like 5 a.m. when I got home and my ex-boyfriend didn't get home until late. I'd say it was a, let's call it a gentleman's eight or nine. Oh, it was. It was, a, it was late. Oh, buddy. So there's a lot of traffic in the mornings picking yeah. up those fucking. So those people are going back and forth. Yeah, but it's, you know what? I just dissed you and said he has low standards and you should go to spec savers. That's a prop to you. Thank You're out you. there looking like an absolute bloody dingo with your fucking They're lambs like, on and bloody like tight like legging leggings with lambs. Oh, okay. Now and we're then, cooking with gas. Well, no wonder still he was got into little it. Lambs on them. Yeah, fuck it. And then a long sleeve little lamby top. I probably still had my eye mask like sitting oh, up here. You definitely did. Props to you, mate. I know. Adorable that old couple. Yeah, but props to you. Yeah, you should have gone on a date with the. Was he a good looking roaster? Can't remember. Okay. Kent cannot remember what he looked like in the lift either. Things are still blurry. <laughs> Fuck me. Mate, I, I've had a heap of shockers, a heap of shockers like that. Real, but like, never been like picked up looking like an absolute rat in the morning, to be honest with you. But you know, the old, the old yarns of getting home, you're locked out, you're fucked. Or like, no battery on your Uber. Sleep Sorry, in the gutter on my phone. Yeah, got in trouble for that the other day. Actually, my phone ran out of battery, and Steph was trying to meet up with me, and I was with the boys at the pub, and so I just let it run out, and I was just like, "Oh fuck, she'll figure it out." She's with all her mates. Finally, got a charge. She's like, "Where the fuck are you?" And I'm like, "I'm back at my mate's house." She's like, "Why didn't you come to the party?" And I'm like, "My phone died." You are terrible with your phone on a night out. At, d it actually <coughs> infuriates me. We'll be like, we're ready to launch, and then. <laughs> You'll either just ghost or it'll go do not disturb or you're just off doing something else. I, I can give you that tip. I never put it on do not disturb. I'm just off doing something else and I don't even bring it out of my pocket and I completely forget that I've spoken to people. Like the other day, fucking <clears throat> when we were supposed to go to the Ivy with Knuckles. Yeah. I was ready to fucking launch with you. Did you go? No, I never ended up there. Where did you go? I blacked out. But you still were out. 
Yeah, but I blacked out. I, don't, I didn't wake you? up until like three o'clock the next afternoon. I don't remember getting home. But where'd you go? To a mate's house. You sat around at a mate's? Yeah. And you could have been at the IV. I went to Bar Toddy's and basically waited, ready to launch with Where's you. Where's Bar Toddy's? Next to the IV. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and I got blind there waiting. I mean, like, Josh is coming at 10. Josh, never came. I was at the footy. I'd been at a lunch, into the footy, and I was drinking, I was drinking double whiskeys from 12.30. You, you've got a real problem. No, I don't. You do. It's a solution. For, don't even come for me. I had one, probably three drinks over the entire weekend. You just said you got blind drunk at my toddies. That was a two weeks ago, you dumb oh, ass. Right. Oh, mate, You're sorry for going to fucking weddings, weekend. Lou. You were at a wedding in the weekend. Oh, should I stand around not drinking at a fucking wedding? No. Yeah. So what do you want me to do? What here? are you doing this weekend? Two-fifths of fuck all. Oh, well, last time you said two fifths of fuck all, <laughs> someone decided to go out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm really sorry, Knuckles, bro. That was fucking bad of me. Yeah. I'll come next time, Knuckles. But I just coked it. Shout out to Knuckles and the Country Trucker Cups, but I just um, I just coked that one, mate. I, get, I, got, I got so blind, I just got lost, and my phone was out of battery, and I was just fucking, it was all over. Naughty senorita. Yeah, it was a naughty senorita moment. Naughty. But anyway... I'm off the grogs now for a while. Oh, yeah, okay. Mate, I'll see you on Friday night. Nope. Yep. No. Nah. I'll put $100 that you'll be drinking this weekend. 100 bucks. Shake on it. Sh- sh- shaking on it. No lying. No. Nah. You'll be drinking. Nope. Let's be honest. No, I won't. No big to differ. I've got... I'm not got this. Nah. We've got the... We've got the netball. Yeah, what about Friday night? Doing nothing. Not going to have a few drinks at the netball? No. Huh? You're going to drive us there? Yep. Okay. We'll see how that comes around said day. I can't as well just pay you the 100 now. You seriously? <laughs> 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 I wanted to raise something with you, and I want to know if you have this as well. Okay. Cirrhosis of the liver. I'm joking. Do you have like a train voice? Or like a doctor's surgery voice. When people call, when people call you. Oh yeah, I've got. I've just got a full blown phone voice. Do ya? Yeah, I'll go. Run me through it. Hello, Louisa speaking. G'day, Lou. How you going? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> no, you don't. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, really good. Hey, what's um going on this weekend? Um, not sure. I think uh, I've got the netball and then, yeah, probably just a few quiet ones. What about you? I think you do have this. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, nothing. I'm just chilling out. I think probably won't drink. I'm about to win 100 bucks off a real sucker. Oh, really? I feel like you'll probably be blind drunk, but I don't know, each to their own. It's a lot higher than your normal I voice. know. It's really like sweet and cute and innocent. Yeah. It's deceptive <laughs> because of who you who are. I am. Yeah, as a person. Yeah. That's right, because I was t- I was thinking about it the other day. You would have a good day, Jack. Here, no, I just get I get like super conscious of being on phone calls, like on, and it, I just sound like the weirdest cunt. So I'll be like, I'll take a phone phone call, like on the train or something. Like dad'll dad'll call me. He's like, "Good day, mate. How you going?" I'm like, "Yeah, good mate. What are you What are you doing?" He's like, "Nothing," and I'm like, "Yeah, right." He's like, "Everything all good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just on the train." Like as if it's illegal to have a phone conversation. But I just have seen people, probably like Lou Bedwitters, let's be real, on the train being like, yeah, fucking oh, like I'm just, I can think we're all going to go out. Wait, Brenda, are we going? Yeah, we're going to meet you there. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. Well, so I'm so conscious of it that I'm just, I become this psycho. It's like this monotone. Yeah, mate. You know, it was the best birthday. See, I'm I've just more it. like. No, I love, yeah, I do love my mum. If Pardon? I'm somewhere what? in the east. Yeah. Did they die? Oh, okay, <laughs> if I'm somewhere in the east, I'll be very conscious of what I'm saying because I'll know that there's a lot of people around who you might know. Like if I'm at the beach. For bedwetters who don't know, Louisa lives in the eastern suburbs of Sydney, which she rarely mentions. <laughs> Get <laughs> fucked. I just mean that everyone knows everyone. So oh, you don't everyone, knows talk too loud. everyone knows Lou in the east. No, I don't mean they know me. I mean, I could be saying someone's name and people would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Oh, shut up. But you know, you're lying at the beach and you're like close to people. If you're on your phone on your AirPods, then I might be like 
a bit quiet and cautious. Yeah. Well, I'm. Um, yeah. So you, you're acting as if you've like murdered someone. On I the become train. a serial killer. Yeah, you're like. Yeah. They'd be like, "This guy's weird." You'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Mm-hmm. Go down." Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, doesn't matter what I've They're been They're in told. the trunk. Yeah, They're in the trunk of the car. Wait, you just had a baby. Congratulations. It's really exciting. Oh, really? You just you're engaged. He dropped the knee. Yeah, cool. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's really good. Absolutely. Like a, in a doctor's surgery, you know, it's really quiet in a doctor's surgery. Grandma's dead. Okay, yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Nana's dead. Okay, right. Cool. Tell Lou to um, get up and sing a song for the family. That'll, um, <laughs> that'll really quell the sadness. Oh, yeah, okay. Our nanny's dead. Cool. Chuck two-year-old Lou on the end. Uh, get her to <laughs> sing a song. Thanks. Thanks so much. Sorry, I just won 16 million. Okay, perfect. Well, when will that be um, put in my account? All right, thanks, mate. Cheers, I appreciate it. Cool. Awesome. Is that tax-free? Sweet. <laughs> cool, cool. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Wait, um, there's a warrant out for my arrest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, I'll see you at the closest police station. Waverley. All right, sweet. Thanks, mate. I'll talk to you later. Oh, Waverley, do you live around the east? Who knows Eat where what? Who, who knows? Eat if people shit. from Perth are listening, listening who would know Lift what? Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I misspoke. Oh. oh, you know how you've lost an argument? Oh. When you start doing that. Oh, you start dissing how I talk. I misspoke, Lou. Oh, oh people my in Perth God. don't know where Waverley is. Oh, shit. Dumbo's arrived. He's flown in on his fucking ears. <laughs> Hey, I think I got good ears. Tuck nah, him. yeah. Tuck him. Do you want to see how fucked it is? <laughs> Untuck him. Untuck him immediately. Untuck him immediately. Why? Why does it just make it look so wrong? Because my head's small. It is very slim. I've got a, I've got a thin head. I'd prefer your head than my moon face, though. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. I would. No, you don't. You don't have a moon face. I've got a big round face. Dude, you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. <laughs> you got to be. Don't be mean about yourself. No, I don't. It's just like. You look great with the ears out now. Thanks, Lou. You don't look like Dumbo. Dumbo. That you just I was just before. being mean. Yeah, okay. It's just a retaliation, you know, <laughs> back and forth. You don't know about Dumbo. Things went east real quick. Sorry, south, real quick. <laughs> Lulu. Now Please. someone, this is like one of our new little segments that we're doing. Someone put out a question to the bedwetters. You want to run us through it? Yes. So we uh, put to the bedwetters. Best excuse you've ever come up with to not go to something. So like work, an event. Maybe a f- funeral. <laughs> You'd hope not. <laughs> You'd hope not. Who knows? But this, um, the bedwetters once again pulled through. So I'm going to read. Oh, yeah, fuck. We need the headphones on. I'll just read out the ones that tickled me pink. Okay. Uh, one of them was from, I can't spell it, J-A-R-C-H-Y, Jackie, Jackie, or something. It says, I've got to go do a last minute podcast with a dumb cunt. So whatever he, well, he must do a podcast um, or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's written there. I'm going to read them. Um, anyway, Cam James came through with, Lou ate me. <laughs> <laughs> MJT89 told a couple that my house got broken into while I was at the wedding so I could go home. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I, I respect that. This is fucking wild. Uh, Katie Elizabeth me We'll go for that Said found someone with my last name in obituary So I c- could get refunded for an Airbnb Genius To be honest That's crook um, Bet these people are thinking they're anon Anon Anonymous Oh right <laughs> You fucking idiot I thought you idiot. said like a non I'm like what's a non Anona Yeah nona Dead. Yeah they all think that. <laughs> Yeah obituaries Um Left left work today because of the rain. Oh, I left my windows open. Genius. You gotta you gotta do that. Brilliant. I messaged my boss at two AM pretending to be dad and I said I was rushed to the hospital. Ah. <laughs> Karma. Um this one, ninety eight Will said, I have no excuse uh, sorry. Ninety eight Will said, I've got no excuse, but Lulu, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Eyebrows said, Toby's dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've got to go home, Toby's dead. I would have to take days off work. Um, this bloke, Patrick Gorrell, uh, said to his boss, he said, yeah, sorry, mate, the shine on Lou's forehead fucking obliterated my retinas. <laughs> it's just another roast of me. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Jai Lyons says, my koala Kevin got kidnapped by a part-time influencer and part-time bedwetter. <laughs> Someone that sounds really hot called Tormanel said, period pain, no one asks any questions. <laughs> Genius, she's used that one before. Fucking oath. Uh, Brooke McGee said, aunt pretended she had a stomach ache to get out of school. Grandma took her to the doctors and the hospital ended up taking her appendix out. So she said, I was, oh, my stomach's sore, I'm crook, I've got to go. And they just like, must be appendicitis and ripped her appendix out. What? Surely you'd go, hey guys, I'm I'm faking it. So you gotta commit to the bit. <laughs> bit far. Bit far, perhaps. <laughs> Correct. Um, Taylor Kutch says rapid onset diarrhea because no one wants proof or further details. Which is a great point. Yep, diarrhea you definitely get away with. Jay Aided De Bono. Fuck me swinging, there's some hard names. Th- this one's this is a bit Should you be saying their name then? Yeah, they wrote it in. They might think they're a non. Oh, well, we're too far down the fucking <laughs> rabbit hole now, aren't we? Careful, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, who's JD and you know, not a Bono or whatever? Sorry, my mum's just passed away and the bloke turned up the next day on his doorstep with flowers. Sorry. You I, can't be you doing can't that. You can't be doing that. That's crook as fuck. There's two in a row here. Xander... Smyrny says, eight-year-old Lou ate my car keys. Couldn't drive there. Sorry, boss. <laughs> Callum McDermott then follows up with, Lou ate my homework. <laughs> Callum's clearly at school. <laughs> <coughs> Amazing. I love the bid winners. They're so creative. This one's good from Lachlan McLeod. I'm a lifeguard and told my other job that a windsurfer got lost at sea and I had to find him. He just fucked off. See ya. So good stuff, bedwetters. Good stuff. We'll have another question for you next week. Let's hit the hotline. Another question next week. Hotline now. I know, and the hotline bling. Bedwetters hotline t- time. Let's see what we got from the bedwetters this week, eh? G'day, gentlemen. How the fuck are you, cunt? Um, <laughs> yeah, just calling in to say, uh, fucking, um, um, <laughs> Also, why the fuck has nobody mentioned why the fuck Lou always snorts when she's fucking laughing? Cheeky bitch. Anyway, good on your count. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. I won't Senorita. change my laugh for anyone. Yeah, she snorts because she's a fucking pig. Excuse you. What? Oh, senorita. You've started snorting now as well. It's contagious. Yeah, it is a bit contagious. Little I also piggy. Can't. Yeah, a couple of little piggies together. Two little piggy wiggies. Bid widdies. Senorita. Senorita. Okay. Now, okie doke. Really well done on the first part of that call as well, mate. Like, you, you crushed that. It was articulate. It's very good. And enthralling. Hey, Bad Witters. I just got a red light, green light for you. Running on the beach. What, Mum? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hummus. Hummus. Oh, get. Stop. Oh. Sorry, guys, I've got to go. My girl is in my grandpa's ashes. Get fucking fuck. Hum it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, it's just in the mic. <laughs> my go on, a hummus is in, in the, the grandpa's grandpa. ashes. It's a classic. Genius. It's a very I general. Love her. It's a It's a very classic general uh, household uh, disruption when you go in as in your granddad's ashes. Happens to every Australian. So. It was amazing. <laughs> hummus. Love her. Hummus, is it? that's Perla. Green light to hummus being in the granddad's ashes. <laughs> I'd say red. Okay. Jarchi, you fucking legend, mate. Fucking absolute fucking sick cunt. <laughs> Hello, Franco's fucking eight-year-old fucking obese fucking <laughs> type two diabetes fucking son. How are you, mate? Don't care. Don't fucking care. <laughs> Uh, I've got a red light, green light for you fucking bed wet fucking cunt. Um, so, uh, but, uh, uh, I don't, uh, fuck, um, shit, oh, fuck, oh, no, oh, fuck, shit, cunt. 
Oh, my God. Yeah, fucking so give me your honest opinion and just uh, tell me what you think. Dead bird is for life. Oh. See you later, cunt. See you, mate. Also, Lou, your fucking singing sucks, you fucking cunt. I can't deal with the first part oh, of the call. <laughs> Franco's fucking type two. <laughs> Like, what? I'm done. What have we created, Jart? <laughs> I don't know. What Lou. have we created? The Lou. hotline is just roasting oh, us. Jesus Christ. <coughs> oh, God, that's I'm hurt dying. my tummy. Yeah, no, green light, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking rogue, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, that's giving me a giggle. That truly is tickling me pink. <sighs> okay, let's see what this is. Hey, Long Schlongs and Jarch. Uh, <laughs> got a little yarn for you. So, oh. got a 10 month old. Uh, he, he does this weird noise. Um, the boss and I ended up calling it the baby pterodactyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, we used to think it was quite cute until we heard Lou and her pterodactyl. Now, when I hear, hear it, I want to stick pins in my eyes, my ears bleed, and I want to kill myself. <laughs> So thanks for that, Lou, and ruining our childhood memory. <laughs> anyway, best of luck, blokes, and I'll uh, sit. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've changed someone's family dynamic. I need to hear the noise. Can you please send us another yeah. voice note yeah, with, yeah. The ba- with the baby's pterodactyl? 100%. 100%. I need to hear it. Yeah, you've essentially ruined a, a, a father's yeah, life for his that. child. I'm, That's fine. I, I really apologise for that. Everything's fine. Last one. Everything's we'll get. fine. Yeah, one more. One more. What's up, you two fucking weapons? <laughs> um, I'm just calling up to say, fucking get D or off the potty. Fuck me. His annoying fuck as is. Get him off it. And this is also my impression of Lenny. <laughs> Oh my fuck all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. Holy dooly. These have been amazing. Oh, holy dooly. I'm sweating. Oh, why do they only roast me? I get roasted. Long slongs and charge. G'day, long I mean, slums. it's a bit more fucking Lulu than it is you, mate. Definitely more Lulu. You're an easier target. That was funny. That was good. But I don't do fuck all. Yeah, no, you're really good. Don't, I've got the bugger soul. Yeah, true. You are You are really good. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Bedwetters. Thanks, bedwetters. Um, bloody per- Perler as always. Just an Phenomenal. Absolute, that's a rip snorter. Thanks for listening, as always. Thanks for calling in. That was some Perler stuff. I've enjoyed the app. Me I've too. Had fun. I've had I fun. always have fun. Same. Um, Louisa Dowden on fucking Instagram. And Stop bloody doing at that. Ju- what? At Louisa when Dowden. You, I know, but then you go, fucking. It's, like, it's just, just a way to but think. You don't need to add that word in for thinking. That's. I'm Australian. I'll do it. Okay. At Louisa Dowden on TikTok and Instagram. At Jarchi89 on TikTok and Instagram. At We Mean Well on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you so much for listening. Kind regards, Louisa Delden and Jack Goodwood Archdale. Louisa Claire Delden. Yep. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, we love you guys. And um, hooray. Keep, keep, keep pissing. pissing. Keep pissing.